what's up guys i am here in san jose san jose see the san jose giants it is my first uh california league game and i am with max from ballpark adventure Hello. we are actually on a california ballpark tour uh, the a's and the giants the link will be right below right below us so let's go explore it looks like daytona and we just saw the mascot right here. I don't know his name. It's a gun there. One, two. That. <laughs> so let's go explore. So they had legendary Giants players like Buster Posey, Madison Bumgarner. Kind of cool to have all the. St I assume that's the standing. I could be wrong. But that's all the California League. And we have the kid zone. In my opinion, it's actually a really good kid zone from the past couple of ballparks I have been to. Yeah. <laughs> so let's walk around. It's an old stadium. It's not as bad as I first thought it was gonna be. We Uber here and I think Max Max was first first like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's walk around. We gotta find the stamp. And there's a ticket booth inside the ballpark. That is very confusing. So let's go. So that's cool. I didn't know George Brett played here. So that's really cool. Uh, so it is, uh, what's today? It is Tuesday. I don't know how much concession is going to be open. So we're just going to find out. So. So here's the uh, gift shop. We're going to check out a gift shop called San Diego Giants Dugout Store. So. I like this. What's in the middle? Oh, it's this beard. My bad. It work. All right, guys. I got the new San Jose Giants hat. Everywhere I go, every minor league ballpark I go to, I get the hat. Uh, I was kind of surprised that would actually be a really good merchandise store. It is small, but for being it small, they have really good unique stuff. We got the stamp, and I think we're gonna try out the food. Uh, so far, not a bad experience so far. By manager Zach Vinci. Leading off. The center for designated hitter number nine, Charlie Pagliarini. And batting ninth, the catcher number 45, Connor Sharpie. Well, this looks like the batting cage. Interesting. Two X's or one X? Just one X. All right, guys, I got the three-piece barbecue and the mac and cheese pork. I don't see the mac and cheese, but we'll find out out later. It's underneath. <laughs> it's underneath. And Max, what did you get? I got the uh, the rib dinner. They gave me a side of the barbecue sauce. And then now uh, if you want to see the mac and cheese, there it is. Oh, well, thought it'd be more. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to eat it and we'll tell you what we think. Well, I just finished mine. Max is finishing up right now. Uh, the mac and cheese pork, it was good. I just think it was too much pork. The ribs, the ribs, and I think Max has the same opinion. It was a little bit cold, but not bad. And I think we can both say, this is the first time we had ribs at a ballpark, at a baseball game. And here's Max. Yeah, it was a little weird. Um, they were definitely colder than I would have liked, but they were pretty tasty. Um, Mac and cheese was a little bit small for what you're paying for. So that's yeah, kind of, that surprised me. That was a little sad, but I mean, besides that, I mean, 
solid 7 out of 10 food. I mean, come to a ballpark in San Jose, you don't expect to have good barbecue. So, it's very surprising. So, I think we're going to try out either the churros or the garlic fries. What are we getting? I think garlic fries. Let's do this. Oh, there's the garlic. I can really smell it. <laughs> Alright, I'll go get the churro. All right, Max, you got the garlic fries. Let's try it. See if they're good as the Giants, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're very garlicky, which you would want, obviously, in garlic fries. Um, once again, a little cold. So, besides that, it's not bad. I recommend getting these because if you really like garlic, you're gonna love these. Portion size for about 820. Eh, maybe a little bigger, but it wasn't bad. All right, I got a churro. And first of all, let me make clear. We, uh, me and Max are splitting a churro and we break it in peace. That's why it looks like I've already ate half of it. But anyway, all we hear is the churro is very popular. So let's try this out. Okay, that's really good. Not gonna lie, I would give it eight out of eight out of ten. That's really good. If you ever come here, definitely try to cheer out for a dessert. Black taking an early lead. White coming. From outside, we're bunched up at the back. This is going to be a nail biter. Oh, Orange doesn't know which way he's going as black and white take a big lead. And down the stretch they come. And it's black by a no. We have a tight one here. Oh, rolling. Just rolling along, living up to his name. And that is an easy victory right there. Never in doubt. Great. All right, guys, that will do it here in San Jose Giants game, a, the single A team. And Max, what do you think? I mean, I mean, for a single A team, we've been to a lot of single A parks, a lot of Florida parks, so it's a little bit different than being over here in California. But I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, the food options were pretty good. Uh, would have loved to have had a little more hot food or. Um, mini helmet for the ice cream that would have been pretty cool to see but I mean besides this I mean solid I mean 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, yeah I agree the uh, barbecue place was interesting because because they they did not have anybody at podium and they just kept telling us to turn around go get go get a menu and we're like where's the menu and we finally uh we finally found a menu uh barbecue was, it was okay but the churro the churro was the best part the churro was definitely the best part. Uh, the garlic fries were okay, as Max is still holding it. <laughs> well, I'm also looking at the fact that they're lowering down the kids in the bottom of the fourth inning. Yes, that's always a thing to know. I say it all the time because the Red Sox were even lowering it in like the second inning, their spring training facility. They were. But anyway, overall, I, it was, I think it was good. I would uh, probably say seven out of 10. Seven out of town for, for being a uh, single A team. I think they are lower A. Lower, I think they're a lower A. Like I said, this is part of our California trip that we go to San Francisco Giants and the Oakland A's. If you want to watch those two videos, click on the link below. Thank you guys for joining us and have a great night from, where are we? San Jose.